Juliana Goldman just spoke with Mexico's President Felipe Calderon in an exclusive interview, and she's here with more. Well, that's right. The president's really going to be more of a political speech today in El Paso, calling for comprehensive immigration reform, Margaret. He's not going to call for a, t a deadline for when he'd like to see Congress act. And I asked President Calderon whether or not he thought that, uh, whether he could still take sort of the administration's renewed efforts seriously. Uh, but Calderon still did endorse the president's efforts. I think the right thing is to pass this comprehensive immigration reform. I know how difficult it is for President Obama to do so with the composition of the Congress. However, I really applaud his personal effort in order to solve the problem not only of millions of people living in the shelters, but also a problem for the American society and economy. We also talked about the drug war. There's been a lot of criticism from Mexican officials that the U.S. has not done enough to stem the, the cross-border flow of weapons and drugs. It's something that Calderon commended the president for saying that he was committed to doing that back when Calderon was at the White House in March. I asked him whether or not the president had followed through on that pledge. He seemed to hedge a bit, said that there's always more that the president can do. You also asked him about someone we talk a lot about, the world's richest man, Carlos Slim. He's been having some difficulties with the government lately, right? Well, well, that's right. And, you know, one of Calderon's signature issues, in addition to the drug war, is curbing monopolistic practices in Mexico. And yesterday he signed antitrust legislation. And I asked him whether or not Carlos Slim represented the kind of antitrust practices that he's looking to push back against. I think it's very sensitive, even his name is very sensitive for a lot of people. Are you sure you don't want to say it now on air? Car I mean, here's your opportunity. Carlos Slim, does, is that the kind of anti-competitive practices that, that you want to target? I think that uh, the enterprises in which he used to participate are very big enterprises with a, a lot of good practices, but also we have a market in which we need to fix a lot of uh, oligopolic or monopolic uh, behavior. And now he did go on to say Carlos Slim's name. He said that he respects Carlos Slim, but ultimately he, President Calderon, is the authority here. Uh, and now, but you had to prod him to get there. He didn't even want to say his name. No, it, he said it's a very sensitive name, very sensitive to bring up. And you know, we had we had known that heading into heading into that interview. Uh, but Calderon from New York, he's now going to Washington. He's not going to go to the White House, but he will be meeting on Capitol Hill with Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. All right, Juliana, thanks for bringing us that interview.